Number 1. Cathedral of Santa Maria del Fiore and Piazza Duomo. As you tour the baptistry, the bell tower, the cathedral, and its museum, you'll see some of the best-known masterpieces of art and architecture by the greatest artists of the Italian Renaissance Ghiberti, Brunelleschi, Donatello, Giotto, and Michelangelo. Number 2. Battistero di San Giovanni. From any angle, inside or out, the 12th-century octagonal baptistry is a consummate work of art. Its marble facade, the intricate mosaics of its interior, and the artworks it holds all merit a place high on your list. Number 3. Piazzale Michelangelo. So often misspelled as Piazzale Michelangelo that even city tourism material occasionally slips up, this terrace above the city is an obligatory stop for tour buses, and the spot from which all those postcard shots of the cathedral are taken. Number 4. Uffizi Palace and Gallery. Few would argue the Uffizi's place among the handful of world's top art museums. Its collections are simply staggering in their diversity and quality, and even if art is not your main interest, you should see the highlights of the paintings here. Number 5. Piazza della Signoria and the Loggia dei Lanzi. This broad square has been the center of power in Florence since its 14th century origins and perhaps even before, as Etruscan and Roman remains have been found below its pavement. Today, it is the social center as well, a favorite meeting place filled with tourists and locals. Number 6. Galleria dell'Accademia. Michelangelo's best-known work, David is copied all over Florence, but inside this art museum, you'll find the original. Unfortunately, as a result of an attack on the sculpture, it is now behind glass, but it still never fails to inspire. Number 7. San Lorenzo and Michelangelo's Medici Tombs. The Medici commissioned the best talent for the family church and burial chapels, Brunelleschi for the church and Michelangelo for the chapel intended to memorialize their most illustrious princes. Both artists died before finishing the work, but Brunelleschi's church was completed according to his plans. Number 8. Palazzo Vecchio. History, art, and power echo in the opulent rooms and grand galleries of this fortress-like palace in the center of Florence. From here, the city republic was ruled, and its powerful Medici family commissioned the leading artists and architects of the day to design and decorate their offices and apartments. Number 9. Santa Croce. Behind the geometric marble inlay of its typical Tuscan facade, Santa Croce is both art-filled church and mausoleum for some of Florence's greatest names. Among its treasures are several landmarks of Renaissance art. Number 10. Ponte Vecchio. The Ponte Vecchio may well be the most widely recognized icon of Florence, and its graceful arches topped by a jumble of shops is most certainly one of the city's prettiest scenes. But most tourists don't realize that another set of treasures hides above their heads. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.